And now we'll talk about adding and subtracting signed fractions. In other words, you need to be able to do this whether the fractions are, are positive or negative. The concept here is the same as it is with adding and subtracting signed numbers. Here's some examples. If I have negative 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths, I can just add the negative 3 and the 2. And negative 3 and 2 add up to negative 1. So negative 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths is negative 1 seventh. In this next example, I have 6 fifths plus negative 2 fifths. Well, they're like fractions, so I can just combine the numerators directly. 6 plus negative 2 is 4. That's the same as 6 minus 2. So 6 fifths plus negative 2 fifths is 4 fifths. And on the bottom here, I have negative 3 nineteenths and negative 11 nineteenths. I'm adding two negative numbers. So the result will be negative, and I can take my 3 and my 11 and add those and then put the negative sign on. So negative 3 and negative 11 gives me negative 14. So negative 3 nineteenths and negative 11 nineteenths is negative 14 nineteenths. When subtracting a fraction, we can either subtract the numerators directly, like we see here, 5 ninths minus 2 ninths, and we just take the numerators and subtract 5 minus 2 over 9. And 5 minus 2 is 3, so that's the same as saying 3 over 9. So we can just subtract the numerators directly, or we can change the subtraction problem into an addition problem. Instead of saying 5 minus 2 ninths, we can say 5 plus negative 2 ninths. And then we add the numerators here, 5 plus negative 2. And 5 plus negative 2 is 3, so 5 plus negative 2 over 9 is 3 over 9. And with that in mind, here's one more example. This technique of changing the subtraction problem into an addition problem comes in handy if you're subtracting something that is negative. In other words, we can change this into an addition problem, and it becomes a simpler problem. Negative 3 over 7 minus negative 5 over 7. I'm going to rewrite the problem to say negative 3 over 7, and instead of subtracting that, I'm going to add the opposite of that. And the opposite of negative 5 sevenths is positive 5 sevenths. And that's a little bit easier to do in my mind. Instead of saying negative 3 minus negative 5, I find it a little easier to think about written this way, negative 3 plus 5. And now since these are both sevenths, I can just combine the numerators directly. Negative 3 sevenths plus 5 sevenths would give me 2 sevenths, because negative 3 plus 5 is 2. So the rules for adding and subtracting signed fractions are basically the same rules that we use for adding and subtracting signed numbers. Just remember that all of this works if the fractions are the same kind, that is, if they are like fractions. They have to have the same denominator.